Hello folks and welcome to the Vertigo Tea Party and let's try Richard and Alice. This game by Owl Cave. You can buy it for $5.99 on GOG or Desora. It's also available on Steam and Greenlight. I will put links to all this in the description below the video. They also did a free game called Sepulcher or Sepulcher. I always mispronounce that. Anyway, you can go ahead and try that out. I actually did play it. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes. It's another point and click game kind of creepy definitely check that one out as well but let's go ahead and start playing this is a mystery point and click game we're gonna go ahead and well i guess we hmm well there's basically only mouse controls so here we go mummy yes sweetheart my fingers are tingly it's very cold isn't it remember your old toy piano mm-hmm wiggle your hands like you're playing it that'll be fun won't it you're silly, mommy. That piano got broke. Maybe you could hum me a tune while you play. That'd be nice. My chest hurts when I hum. Oh, Barney. We'll find somewhere warm soon, I promise. Look, there's something just up ahead. Ew, that's disgusting. Poor thing. I wonder what happened to it. Can we play with it? Barney, no. Of course we can. It's a dead animal. But it might be lonely. Barney, you're sweet, but no. No playing with animal corpses. Come on. So I've got to say right off the bat, I did already play through this. It's a pretty short demo. Again, about 15, 20 minutes. Barney, look. This looks nice, doesn't it? Mummy, I don't like it. Can we go back now? No, Barney. No, we can't go back. Please, Mummy. Barney, for God's sakes. I'm sorry, honey. Look, you need to be a big, brave boy now. You can do that for me, right? Sorry, Mummy. It's okay, baby. Look, let's see if we can get inside. I like how she knocks, but there's a padlock on the outside of the door. It's like, wait a minute, ma'am. Hello? No answer, and it's padlocked. Hmm, there might be a way to get this open. Barney, let's go on a treasure hunt. Mummy, I'm tired. <laughs> Barney, if just a few more steps. Nope. All right, you can't wait here then, but promise me you won't go off anywhere and try to keep out of sight. I promise, mummy, I'll hide like a little mouse. So yeah, I've already played through this. I gotta say, I don't like kids, period. I don't like kids in games. I don't like when they tried to give me an emotional attachment to the children. Uh, in Walking Dead, it took me three episodes just to stop trying to find ways to use Clementine as zombie bait. So I will admit that I'm biased and that I really do not like children. And the child interactions so far in this game are not endearing me to him. In fact, they're annoying me a lot. So as with any other point and click game, you can highlight items, it'll tell you what they are. You can left click to try to interact with it. And she says, I don't wanna sit down right now. Or you can right click it to get a description. It's a bench, very good. Let's check the statue out. The statue of an angel. They always look ominous somehow. I remember being a young girl, maybe six or seven. My parents used to take me to the local park. There was an angel statue there, too. I was terrified of it. I used to think it would bring about doom or something. Maybe it did. Okay, let's check these boarded windows up. I won't poke around too much. I, I will do the solutions, but just but I want you guys to get a good feel of the atmosphere of the game. Uh, you know, get the set, uh, try to understand the setting, or at least what understanding you can get from the demo. I'm not going to be able to pull these off. No, there's a crack in this one, so let's check this one. I wonder if I can pry away, prize away this board. Like she meant pry. No, it's too secure. Okay, let's take a look around. Can't move the camera, you can only see what's around you, which, you know, makes sense. Read this billboard. It's not the end of the world. A billboard. The poster is torn. I'll leave the rest intact, though. It's not the end of the world. Beating the weather together. I remember that slogan. It was all over the place a while ago. No one was convinced, though. Didn't exactly rouse anyone. Okay, let's check down here. Oh, there's some woods. I know better to want than to wander into the woods, even during the day. Okay. Go ahead and wander down. Hmm. 
Oh, well, I accidentally clicked through it, but she said something about, I should investigate that. In case you weren't smart enough to figure that out yourself. Let's go into the shed. Lawnmower, we could use that. Looks like it's seen better days. I guess there's not been much use for it since the snow. It's a disused lawnmower. Nothing to do here for now. The vice still works. Mm, some shears, let's grab those. Too big for the padlock. Might find another use for them, though. I bet we will. If you can pick it up, you can use it in an adventure game. Uh, rusty saw. Let's try to pick that up. Rusted a lot. It's practically falling apart. So I guess not. So let's uh, let's take a look at this cupboard. It's locked. There might be something useful in there, though. Need something to pry it open with. Prize. Is that... I mean, that's how you spell pry. I don't know. Anyway, let's try these rusty shears the cabinet. I'll just wedge these in here and... Damn, the shear is broken. Still, I managed to pry open the cabinet. It's funny, I didn't notice that the first time I played through. Hmm, let's see. No tools whatsoever, but there's a key and a gun. I hate these things. Keys? Yeah, they are very annoying. Looks like there's one bullet left. This isn't really something I choose to hang on to, but needs must. I... Don't quite know what she was trying to say there. Need dictates? I don't know. Anyway, so let's go see if this key opens this padlock. We can only be so lucky when the shed was close by. It could have been a spare key to get in the house in case they locked themselves out in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. Though to be fair, I don't know what actually is going on. I'm assuming that's part of the mystery. Obviously something at least semi-major is going on with this whole constant snow thing. Hey, sweetheart, what do you got there? Mommy, I'm feeling happy now. That's good to hear, darling. What are you playing with? A toy car. You used to drive a car, didn't you, mommy? I sure did, Barney. A lot of grown-ups used to drive cars. Now everyone drives trucks. Not everyone, sweetheart. We don't have a truck, do we? Where'd you get that car? I find it in the snow. I think someone left it here just for me. I'm sure they did, honey. Yes, patronize the child. Barney! Did you know, a long time before you were born, Mommy and Daddy went on adventures in a car? We drove and drove and stopped at lots of places and saw a lot of amazing things. Did Daddy drive the car as well? He did! Daddy drove sometimes and Mommy drove sometimes when Daddy got tired. We did a lot of driving. Someday I want to take you on an adventure, Barney. Mommy? Yes, sweetheart. You're taking me on an adventure now, aren't you, Mommy? Uh, yeah, I am, I am Barney. Barney, this is adventure, isn't it? It sure is. We're big, strong adventurers like you and Daddy were. Mommy, you can have the car. It'll remember you about your adventure with Daddy. This kid's got kind of a speech problem. Remind you. That's what I would say. Huh? Oh, nothing. It doesn't matter. Thank you, baby. That's very sweet of you. Thank you. I guess. All right, let's take a look at the toy car. A toy car. Barney gave it to me. One day you'll grow up and protect... Gordon Freeman. I don't think this is going to, Oh, I tried to use the key on the key. What's funny is, of course, the first thing I did when I found the gun and it came back, I was like, one bullet? Let's use the gun on Barney. I'm not going to shoot Barney. <laughs> then, of course, I tried to use it on myself. Shoot myself? Things aren't that bad yet. I do love when there's extra dialogue for weird choices or weird attempts like that. So let's try to use the key on this lock. I hope this is the right key. Damn, it's the wrong one. Well then, we've only got one other choice. We've got to kill the padlock. Barney, can you come here for a minute? Okay, first of all, probably not a good idea to stand back there because you've only got one bullet. And if you miss, you're boned. But anyway, Barney, can you come here for a minute? What's wrong, mummy? Nothing's wrong, sweetheart. Do you know what this is? Uh, it's a gun like bad men carry. That's right. And you know guns are very, very dangerous, yes? Uh-huh. They can make people go dead. Ah, oh, Jesus. They're loud and scary, and you should never play with them. But Mummy has to use this now, Barney, so I want you to go over there, look away, and cover your ears. Are you going to shoot someone, Mummy? No, sweetheart. I'm going to shoot this padlock off so we can get inside. Does that sound good? You can have a little sleep then. Okay, Mummy. Be careful. I don't know why she's having him go... Well, I guess to make sure there's no ricochet or... Whatever. He could have behind the brick wall, I suppose. 
That's done it. Gun's empty now. Might as well keep a hold of it anyway. Barney? Barney? Sorry, Mom. I was off screen, so you can't see, couldn't see it. Or see me, rather. It, whatever. That was loud of me. I covered my ears, but it still hurt. Oh, come on. How far away were you, kid? I hope nobody... No, it's fine. Right. Are you ready to carry on with our adventure, sweetheart? Yes. Okay, then. In we go. Stay behind me. That's automatically taking control here. Oh, God. That's disgusting. Mommy, this place is smelly. Keep your voice down, honey. Hello? Anyone here? Okay. First of all... <laughs> You just shot the padlock off the door. And again, making sure to note that the door was padlocked and chained from the outside. Secondly, she just told him to be quiet and now she's yelling, honey, anyone home? Anyway, or hello, anyone home, not honey, anyone home. Hello? Judging from the smell, I think we're alone. The light's on though, hmm. <laughs> I like that expression though. Like, out of context, judging from the smell, I think we're alone, would be quite amusing. Anyway, Mummy, it's really stinky. I know, sweetheart. How about we take a look around and see if we can find a way to clean up this mess? We need to get the door locked again, too. How does a treasure hunt sound? I'm sleepy. It's not what I asked you, little sh I mean, I know, honey. Not long now. But look, there's nowhere to sleep, is there? Well, there's plenty of places to sleep. There's the floor, the table. There was an oven in there. Perfectly good oven to sleep in for him anyway. I feel all sicky. I'm not surprised with the smell in here. Let me take a look around. Let's take a look at this rotten food. There's no way I'm touching that with my bare hands. Okay, come on, lady. It seems like it's post-apocalypse time. I don't think it's time to be picky about touching rotten food. Watch TV. In today's weather, snow, snow, and more snow. It works, mummy. No, sweetheart, just static. Look, it's pretty. If you say so, honey. <laughs> pat, pat on the head, yikes. Just static, broken piece of shit. Naughty, mummy. Yes, mummy was naughty. Sorry, sweetheart. Oh, that was a little bit more sensual than I intended it to be. Uh, let's go in here first. Hmm, got a box. Hey, Barney, come look at this. I think it might be a toy chest. Why did you think that? Why would, why would there be a toy chest in the coat room? Can I play with the toys? If we can get it open, sure. What's in there? Well, I don't know. It's not open yet. Let's open it. It's a magical toy chest. You had to say the magic words. Do you remember the magic words, sweetheart? Open sesame. <laughs> it's locked. I love the way she built him up. To it and then it's like ah it's locked no toys for you that's okay mommy can we unlock it we can certainly try let's see if this small key works well what do you know the key fits the lock to this toy chest perfectly yay let's look at the toys mommy hold on a minute sweetheart let me check there isn't anything inappropriate in here what's inappropriate uh you know like adult toys inappropriate things that wouldn't be right for you to play with like dollies? Yes, exactly like dollies. Don't be playing with dollies, boys. No, not quite. More like broken glass and thing. You can play with dollies if you'd like, Barney. I went to a liberal, liberal arts college. Mommy, boys can't play with dollies. Who told you that, sweetie? Clifford tell me at once. Clifford? Who's he? A big red dog. My friend from before. Mommy, from home. Ah, oh, yes, of course. The Petersons, boys. Well, Clifford is a big silly, and you can tell him he's wrong next time you see him. Clifford went off into the snow with his mummy and daddy. Oh, so he did. Well, you can play with him. Wait, with what? Play with whatever toys you want, anyway. Huh? There's a toy robot. Look, Barney. Would you like to keep this? Yes, thanks, mummy. There's a little keepsake box in here too. Hmm. Let's take a look at that box. It's a keepsake box I found in the toy chest. Don't think it's locked. Let's see what's inside. Let's. A couple things in here. There's a folded drawing tucked away. A key ring with a bunch of keys. Wonder why why they've hidden them so well. There's also a note here that I I missed this the last time too. I don't know where this note came from. I think it might have been inside the cupboard in the little tool shed outside. Caleb, this is for you. They've all gone and there's nothing left. I've moved on and so should you. The others will never understand. Jake. Not ominous at all? 
A set of keys? A set of keys I found in the keepsake box. They were obviously well hidden. They looked to fit the same kind of lock. The child's drawing? Uh, the the, gener the general ch creepy child drawing. We got the weird person upstairs that looks kind of depressed. The mommy looks depressed. Redneck daddy's happy. And oblivious child is happy. And of course, Soul, our son, is always happy. The son is happiest when you are miserable. Let's take a look at these clothes. A lot of different clothes. Male, female, old, young, weird. At least we can use this for bedding later. There's something sticking out of a pocket. Here, let me take a look. Torn paper. Honorable discharge. This is to certify that Malcolm York Mosley has been honorably discharged from the armed forces. Oh, good. I mean, there's plenty of honorable reasons to be dishonorably discharged, right? Yeah, let's check the kitchen. Then we'll check this last door. Actually, wait, let's check the cabinet first. Let's take a look. Hmm, there's a box of shotgun shells at the back. No shotgun, sadly, but these might still come in handy. Yeah, you could throw them at the enemy, I suppose. With a lot of force. Tinned food, bin bags, thank goodness. Hmm, there's a bit of paper in here, too. Apparently, people love to just leave notes in random places in this area. Handwritten note. Yorkie. While you were out, the silly bitch started bashing on the ceiling and shouting about her meds. She's gonna bring the whole roof down. The others are getting distressed. Me and Jay are ready to lose our shit with her. We was tempted to cave her fucking skull in, but D would go ape shit if he found out. You brought her here, sort out your shit, or Boss Prick is gonna be short on collection day, and you know he won't like that. Well, sounds like we had some good times in here. Good times and great oldies. Let's have a look at this. Hmm, it's a bit old and dirty, but it seems to still have power. <laughs> that's what they'll say about me when I'm 80. Holla, oh, sorry. There's a baking tray inside, too. I'll leave it alone for now. Let's try the sink, see if the sink works. Oh, running water. That would be very nice. Though you have a lot of snow outside, I suppose, but still. Oh my god, Barney, it works. We have water. Heh <laughs> you're silly, mummy. Barney, don't... Oh, never mind. We have water to drink. Oh, there's yet another note. Though this one is at least on a board of some kind. The list. Current inventory. Femcock 17, 124 pounds. Resistance. Malecock 17, 156 pounds. Compliant. I'm not going to read all of these. What could all of this mean? Hmm. It could mean a lot of things. Let's go on. Let's go on. Let's go on. Let's go on. That's me. It is you. There we go. Come on. Got a little stuck there. That's fine. Hmm. It's locked. Luckily, we found these keys. Surely one of these has to fit. There we go. No, Barney. You go play over there for a minute. I want to see, Mummy. You can have a look in a minute. I just want to check it out first. But what if there's treasure? If there's treasure, sweetheart, I promise you'll be the first to know. Well, okay. Stand over there. Well, here goes. Oh, God. What happened here? What is it, Mommy? What is it? D just a second, sweetheart. You just stay there. Let's see what we can find here. We have a, a wooden board. Apparently somebody, some man lives here. He used a giant 2x4 to brush his teeth. I respect that. This looks the perfect size to fit through the door handles. Not ideal, but it'll work as a barricade for now. There's nothing else of use in here. I'll shut the door for now so Barney doesn't see. And again, it's taking over. Hey, if we're in a post-apocalyptic world, it's time to take the blinders off the kid. They need to grow up very quickly. Mummy, is there treasure? I'm afraid not, Barney. It's just the bathroom. I need a wee. You'll have to wait a while, I'm afraid, sweetheart. It's a bit filthy in there. I'll clean it up for you once we get settled. Really? No treasure? Really, really. Promise. All right. I do know that we have to clean up this trash. Ugh, this must be weeks old. Wish I knew where they got it from, though. They are big wasters, mummy. I eat it all my dinners. You did, Barney. You're a good boy. Jesus, look at this stuff. Here, Barney, eat it. I don't care if it's rotten. I'll give you a dollar. Mummy, do you think the bad men are coming back? Yes. They might do, sweetheart. We need to be careful. Keep the doors locked. Stick together. You remember... What I've always told you about talking to strangers, Barney? Just say no, then run away very, very far. 
Good boy. If you hear anyone or see anyone, just make sure to tell me. I don't want the bad men to come back. This is Mummy and Barney's house now. That's right, sweetheart. If they do come back, we'll let them know. Right then, let's clean up the stinky mess. Five minutes later. There, much better, don't you think, Barney? I've just dumped the bin bags around the side for now. I'll deal with them properly tomorrow. Okay, let's check the rubble. You know what? There's no way I'm going to be able to move all this. Okay, well, that's a negative attitude. But let's go ahead and board up door. To keep any weirdos from coming in. Right, let's get this door boarded up. There we go. Pretty tight fit. At least if someone tries to force their way in, we'll have a fair warning. The door looks silly now. It does, doesn't it? It's like a castle. This is our castle now, Barney. Castles are scary. They're a bit, yes. Right, let's see if we can make up a bed. Your yawning's making me sleepy too. Can we have some dinner? Sure. How does sweet corn sound? That does sound good right now, actually. Sounds great, mummy. Good boy. How about we eat it in bed? Like a midnight feast? Uh, yeah, just like that, Barney. This kid. Mummy? Yes, sweetheart. What's up the stairs? I don't know, honey. Maybe tomorrow we can try and find out. Mummy? Yeah. It's warm in here, isn't it? My fingers aren't tingly anymore. That's good, baby. You did well this morning. You're very brave. Mummy? Yes, Barney. I love you, Mummy. I love you too, Barney. Let's try and get some sleep now. It's been a tiring day. And that's it. Uh, you can access the address to go to the site there, which again, I will link it in the video description. Overall, like I said, the child was annoying, even more annoying to me than regular children tend to be. Uh, the, especially with the dialogue being all text, it get a little redundant. And wh while I don't spend a lot of time with children, if I can help it, I I don't ever remember seeing kids in movies or TV or the ones I have dealt with talking exactly like that, like overly stupid or overly ignorant, if you want to use it that way. So it, it just kind of got a little uh, annoying. I don't think most of the game has you dealing with the child from what I've seen from other videos. So I, I do like the atmosphere though. I like the bleak winterscape. I like I like the whole creepy atmosphere where you're trying to figure out what's happening exactly. So look into this game. Again, you can get it on GOG, you can get it on Sora. You can also vote for it on Steam Greenlight. So if you do like the way it looks, make sure to go to the link below, vote for it and see if we can't get this on steam as always please leave comments let me know what you thought of this video and again you can actually try this game there's a demo on their website you can try it there as well and again don't forget they do have sepul sepulcher sepulcher sorry a free game which is also at their website if you want to check that out first to kind of learn their styles again thank you for watching and i will see you next time